Hello, good morning, and welcome to the Taking of Peckham 123 acoustic guitar tutorial. Um, I don't think that Carter ever did an acoustic version of this song, but I did one that I put up on YouTube somewhere, um, so I realise this might be a bit niche, to be honest. Um, so, a prerequisite is that you need to be able to play bar chords. So if you can't play bar chords yet, I suggest you go and find some of somebody else's tutorial to learn to play bar chords now. And then you can come back if you want later. Um, so let's get started. Um, a clue to being able to play the songs in the title, the one, two, three bit. That's the rhythm that you play in the song. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you try and play the bass notes on the ones. So <coughs> I'll be playing uh, the main chord. It's G minor, it's in the key of G minor. So I'll be playing a, a G minor there, either that way or that way. I prefer to loop my thumb over because it gives me a few more options in general. Um, so one, two, three, 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 one, two, three like that. <coughs> if you play the higher notes on the two and three, it fills the sound out a bit. One, two, the rhythm you've got to try and um, learn to play that consistently I'm not saying that I do but I try um, <coughs> so the rest of the main chord sequence it goes G minor E flat and C and you try and alternate on the uh, bass notes um, I would do it on the G G down to D but you'd have to drop tune and I don't do that so I just <laughs> try to try to fake it by hitting some higher lower notes and then the lowest notes like that. So <clears throat> on the E flat there you've got your bar chord like that and you see this lower string you alternate between that and that. The same for the C. <clears throat> so putting those together once more. I'll, I'll play it better than that, hold on. There's a little riffy type thing at the end there where it goes B flat A G and you play that um, leading into that sequence most of the time. So I, I like to play that at the beginning of the song that goes and that bass note is the beginning of the G chord again so you can play notice there I'm strumming more than the two and the three. Um, I try to not strum so much at the beginning so that it builds up later on in the song. Um, but I'm just naturally doing that for some reason um, at the moment. So I'll do it a bit slower. One, two, So that's the main part, you can do all the verses with that, so you're off to a good start. Um, <clears throat> now there's a bit near the beginning where it says the taking of Peckham. One, two, three, one, two, three, la 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 But in tune. I'll probably cut that bit there and remove it. So we come to a bit that's played in the song once after the uh, bit that says the, the bit that goes la 
At this point, it goes to B flat and it plays descending bass notes. So B flat chords like that. You can see that's just another bar chord in a similar shape to what we've got used to before. And now you've got to descend on the bass notes. The first one's B flat, A, G, F, and then the next one's E flat, but the guitar doesn't go as low as that, so you've got to zoom up to here. So now we're on the A flat chord and alternate like that. So I'll play that slowly. <coughs> Hopefully you'll get a better idea of it. B flat, A, G, F, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. <coughs> and then at the end it does the uh, riff that you learnt before. learn is um, on the line where it goes it's so hard to be a saint in the flats where you live up to that point it's done a G minor and an E flat as you already know but then it goes it's so hard to be a saint in the flats where you live so it's on a D and it's another descending bass note thing and the descending notes are D C B flat A and then it goes to a B flat chord after that for the next um, chord sequence. So I'll just play that slowly for you. What I'm doing here is I'm always holding these three, these three notes of the D chord, these three notes of the D chord, but I'm descending on the bass notes. But because I've got to hold these three notes here, I'm switching my fingers around. So first one's an easy D chord and then I change to C with my second finger and covering the three notes with my first and then I'm going to the B flat and covering the three notes with my little finger again so the last one is easy because we can play an open A string here so you just let go and And then after that you play a B flat. So it's so hard to be a saint in the. So I played that wrong. Let's try that again. It's so hard to be a saint in the flats where you live, and you live there too. I hope you got that. I'll play it slowly again. Because it's the best of the song, I think. It's bit. Um, play it slowly again. Right, so once you've learned that bit, um, the rest is pretty easy. Um, you're missing the B-flat chord sequence, where it goes, um, you live there tomorrow and the day that you die. That goes B-flat, G minor, E-flat, and then the descending D thing again. So I'll play that for you now. <coughs> and you should sing it in tune, because I don't. Um, so one more time, that sequence. It's so hard to be a saint in the flat sky. And you live there tomorrow And the day that you die When you go to that great high-rise block in the sky And you meet the baby Jesus So you know you're in heaven And you get back the years that you gave In the taking of a pickle It goes back to the original chord play the lead bit and how am I going to describe this um, you've got to try and keep the rhythm going in your head so you play it in time um, I lead into it with the B flat thing there I think I'm playing that with my and the first note is a D on the second string now I think the best thing to do here is just to try and play it really close to you so it goes So, it goes D, C sharp, B flat, A, so G, slide up to the D, the 
the last note there is an E flat <coughs> because the chord at that point has changed to and at that point when I play this song I normally play um, play the chord like that to fill the sound out a bit but you can also play um, this bit you go so the chord goes to C and he plays this cool bit that goes <clears throat> I'll show you that again that's a sort of double stop thing you hold down the B flat and the C and you hammer on with your other finger to cover the same two strings two frets higher up so try and play it to you one more time slowly to give you an idea of what's going on. Um, I'll get up close to the camera again. So fumbled the end of it there. Um, <clears throat> I try and play the bass notes in the middle to try and keep the thing moving, so um, I'll play sequence where they start singing and it gets hectic. Um, it just descends on the D. Uh, pretty straightforward, so have fun.